James has got a meal. You can do this in minutes, James, can't you? I, mean, I think sometimes people are a bit frightened of shellfish, not quite sure how to cook it. Very much so, you know. Yeah. You, you've just said it then. They get frightened of it. Also, they think it's just for restaurant menus, using mm. mussels, for example. But no, this is my uh, Thai curried creamy mussels, Lorraine. Mm. Very, very simple to do. Very, very quick as well. I like So, quick, quick first good. of all, just to get the things going, I've already got some shallots uh, going golden on the stove here. Okay. You could use onion if you wanted to. Okay. And then, obviously, as I said, it's that Thai element. So let's look at these wonderful ingredients that we're putting in. Normally, you think it's going to be like a oh, white wine in there, shallot, garlic, that thing, kind of European style. But, oh, no, look at this. We've got some lovely lemongrass right. chopped up. So good. nice. Uh, good flavour. Exactly that, mm -hmm. big time. Touch of chilli as well. Of okay, now it depends how hot you like it. You can leave the like seeds the hot, in or out. As you know. <laughs> okay, right, it's Put not it going in. Right, we've got some uh, chopped up garlic as well. Lovely. Some ginger. Um, again, just think the flavour's coming out. Sure. And then also uh, some lime zest as well. Okay. In that goes there. And you just give everything a good mix up. And I said it before, you cook it down, but you want to release the flavours. Right. So that's why I'm doing this part first, okay. okay? Once everything's coated in the hot oil, I did say it was Thai creamy mussels, but there's no cream in it. Right. We're using coconut milk in ah, this instance. Okay. So I've got a can of coconut milk. Because that's healthier, do you think? It's, there, obviously, there's fats in it that's still, true. but it's not as many fat solids as cream for example like a, dub a double cream especially which would yep. be higher okay so now everything's bubbling up brilliant leave it there on a low heat let that flavor infuse okay mm -hmm. now regarding the mussels the star of the show um, as we said before brand new you um, obviously has been running this month wonderful foods that are good for your well-being and everything yep. mussels are full of iron they're quick to cook they're great on price they're around about three pounds per kilo right now okay. do a bit two people easily exactly that yeah. two portions okay, yes yeah. so really really good on price that's however a little bit of prep work involved of in these. So here we've got some cleaned mussels, completely uh, no barnacles on them, none of, no beards, for example. When beards, I'm going to get to now, people okay. think it's a bit weird, mussels have beards. Uh, when they're, they're grown, they're grown sometimes in nets or on mm. rope and they attach themselves, so you get this little, this little beardy bit there. And what yeah. you need to do is, is give it a wiggle and just pull right. the beard out, okay? okay? You don't want to eat these, you don't want to cook it with it. If there's any um, bits on the mussels, for example, barnacles, etc. Give it all a good little scrub up just okay. to clean them up. Also, another good tip with mussels, like this one's here, it's already open, OK? Yeah. Now, you've got to make sure that they're really live, super, super fresh. So you give it a tap. And it closes up. That means it's alive. Right. So we can cook with it, OK? Guys alive all. No, no, but just to right. show you, look. So, obviously, if it's open... Thing. And they don't sh and they don't <laughs> shut and they don't shut like that one. I'm, I'm not going to use. A okay? there. Oh, it's fine. oh no, I'm not having these now. Oh, <laughs> okay. look, everything's bubbling up now, right, okay. and while it is, they've got to go into the hot liquor cool. straight away. How long for though? Well, this is it. Just so they only just open. Takes about two to three minutes. Right. A pinch of salt goes in there as well. I'm just going to wash off my hands. Okay. And while this is all on still a high heat. We're going to go straight on with the lid because you want the steam to come up, hit the lid, go back down, go back they down. pop open. Sure. I've got some ready here, OK? Ta-da! And as you can see, they've all opened up. Again, if none of them don't open, don't Just eat don't them. Eat Just them. discard them. To finish them off... Yep. Touch of lime juice. Lovely. Tiny bit goes in there. And then, obviously, uh, coriander works so well with these kind of ingredients, mm. yeah? So I'm just going to grab some coriander and not really even chop it or anything, just, bung it in just there. rip it. Oh, okay. Okay. Obviously, we put a bit on top, yeah, sure. sure. However, I think the stalks contains flavour. A lot of people throw it away. By all means, use it. In that goes there, OK? Lovely. Right, now, all a good mix-up. Sure. Got a wonderful broth and everything else. I've got a couple of serving bowls here. Thank you. So. Mel, is this something you'd normally have at breakfast? Yeah. <laughs> they say there's a first time for everything. <laughs> they do, they do, they do, they do. They do, it I guess. It smells amazing. There's one there. Which Thank everyone you. always says they on telly. Like you can't do appreciate that. that. That's Thank good. you. I do like them. I sometimes like to eat them with the other muscle. I know you that sounds do mad, that. but like, Use it like a pizza. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Thank oh, you. really good. Is it good? It's, fr it's fresh. Do you like flavor. how surprised I sound? <laughs> <laughs> They're really mm. nice. Yeah, because it's like really Very fresh, thai. isn't it? Very Thai. Mm. I like exactly that. that. Nice. I'm going to try that. Clean, okay. clean yeah. flavours. Cook mm. so, so quickly. Yeah. Sure. Great on price. That's Don't great. overcook them, so they just open. They so keep tender. Yeah. Thank you, love. That's brilliant. Excellent.